Hello, welcome to the March Not Show, the cybersecurity show. In this video, I'm going to discuss the steps that you can use to get a 100% free lifetime server. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. So to obtain a 100% free lifetime server, you can utilize the Oracle Cloud free tier, which offers significant resources without any hidden charges. Now here's the step-by-step -step guide on how you can set that up. So number one, create an Oracle Cloud account visit the Oracle Cloud signup page, fill out the registration form with your email and a valid credit card, you will not be charged. Verify your email address, access the Oracle Cloud dashboard, log into your Oracle Cloud account, navigate to the compute section and select instances, create a free instance, click on the create instance button, Choose resources that are, you know, tagged as always free. For example, select an Ubuntu image if you prefer Linux. Set up a boot volume of up to 200 gigabytes, right? Download the SSH keys. Download the public and private keys necessary for SSH access to your server. Now launch your instance, finalize your instance creation and wait for it to be ready. Connect to your server, right? Use the following command to SSH into your server. And Peter, please put that code on the screen for the viewers. So the key features of Oracle Cloud Free Tier, now the resources available, you can access a server with 24 uh, gigabytes of RAM, four CPUs, and 200 gigabytes of storage, which is quite generous compared to other free you know, offerings. No hidden charges, the service is genuinely free, as long as you stay within the specified limits. Now the alternatives, if Oracle Cloud does not suit your needs, consider these you know, alternatives. You have the Google Cloud free tier, which offers a free E2 micro VM with 30 gigabytes disk and one gigabyte RAM, but it requires careful set, you know, setup to avoid charges. You have the AWS free tier, which provides various services for free for a limited time but may not offer lifetime free options like oracle so you know using these steps you can successfully set up free lifetime servers making an excellent choice for developers looking for reliable cloud infrastructures without cost please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button but you know i just want to say this guys there are risks of using free servers you know across various domains uh, you know, and there's also performance risk, right? In regards to security vulnerabilities, data privacy risks. Free servers often lack robust security protocols, leaving users vulnerable to cyber threats. Malicious operators may use servers as honeypots to steal sensitive user data. Many free services log and sell user data to third-party advertisers. In regards to performance limitations and technical constraints, free servers typically offer limited resources and poor performance. Slow internet speeds and frequent downtimes are also common. Server congestion leads to unreliable connectivity. Now the additional risks by service type, you have the Minecraft server hosting, which is inadequate security measures. The limited server customization, the potential for intrusion, uh, intrusive, advertisements you have proxy and vpn services the high risk of malware infection potential ip address blocking lack of customer support compromise online privacy web hosting no scalability for growing websites restricted website transfer options potential server instability due to multiple users so that's just some nuggets to keep in mind um you know, nothing is nothing is all pro. There are some cons to everything. Uh, so please take a moment right now, if you are educated, entertained, to hit that subscribe button and the like button. If you gain value from this video, hit that subscribe button and the like button. Please let me know your opinions and comments in the comment section below. I appreciate your viewership. See you in the next video.